Exclamation, everybody. Welcome back to Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. So, I have been grinding lots of things off camera. Lots of resources have been ground. Uh, and I'm about ready to tick off a whole lot of quests here. If I zoom out on the map, you can see a ton of things have check marks now. Uh, I've got pretty much mastery, or about to have mastery, in just about every... Um, profession except for cooking. I still have to do some cooking stuff, but I think I'm gonna cheat and buy some of the ingredients rather than try to to create them because a lot of the ingredients require me to go fishing and I just don't feel like doing the fishing mini game. So I'm gonna see if I can just buy a bunch of stuff that I need and get the uh, cooking achievo. Um, but where to begin? So let's just head over this way towards that area, towards the coast. And I can turn in a few things and build some bridges. We're also going to build lots and lots of bridges. Hopefully get all of them built, at least in the main island here. I did briefly uh, go across to the other quest island. I did that mostly so that uh, I could grab a particular flower that grows over there that's needed for yellow dye. And I did that just so I could make uh, some stuff to get the mastery in um, sewing. Uh, also, I needed to make a something for a quest. Uh, that uh, girl that we saw before that was shivering. I believe I can just make her a raincoat. I think that will work. Uh, so I've made a, ma a raincoat for her and hopefully she'll accept that and we'll have another, we'll have another thing under our belt here. First, we come up in here, and this area has always been a bear to navigate because of these, because of the lack of uh, bridges and stuff. So, it is time, my friends, to finally clear that up, I hope. Hopefully, I've built enough stuff. I think I counted it out correctly, the number of pillars and other things I need, but we'll see here. All right. So, stone arches and stone pillars. Yeah, the only thing I might run out of is actual stone. We'll see. That's the only thing I didn't really count out too much. But I have more stone in one of my... in, in my storage. So I could just go probably grab that as we're going here. And then... We come over to this lovely lady. And see if she will accept my gift of a raincoat. That's so wonderful, I feel like smiling forever. Yeah. And since you're so nice, I've decided I'm going to travel with you. All right, so she was a sprite in hiding. All sprites in Devilwood Forest have been found. There we go. Okay, that's one down. <laughs> now, if only I could find all the tree planting areas, we'd be, we'd be all set here. I still am missing a few, a few trees, apparently, although I don't have any seeds right now to put down. I, I put a lot of trees over in the new area, so that's why I don't have everything quite with me yet. Let me actually, since I'm here, let me stop off and grab some more, uh, some more stone in case I need it. I know I threw some in here. I'm almost certain I threw some in here. Uh, well, okay, I only, I only put 13 of them in there. I thought there was more than that, but I guess not. Alright. Fine. That hopefully will still be enough. So, where else do we go? Uh, so these, this region is 96% of the way to being completely happy. Uh, I just have to get my farm production up and stuff, and there's also some more, a couple more quests left, and some more trees, obviously. Alright, so now we're going to take a detour down this other path here towards the coastline. I believe there's another... Um, I believe there's another bridge that can be built here somewhere. So I want to make sure that I do uh, that. Uh, not that way. We'll come down here. I think it's down, yeah, it's down this way, I believe. Towards the enemy toast. <laughs> Name the movie that that was set in. It was a comedy movie. Uh, we will 
keep a keep a, a run on as much as we can do a run on here and let's see if I can finish the I still don't know what this thing is over here still have no idea what that is <laughs> or or what, what to do about that but uh, I assume that will come into play some point in the future but I do want to let me see I, I was going to try to make uh, fish and chips but I don't have any oil and I didn't feel like going and fishing for it so let's see if I can grab let's see if I can barter for some oil here and just try to get the mastery done on this because I'm at like 200 and something on the match oh there it is chef guild master is like 280 out of a thousand so I think the fish and chips might put me over to over the top hopefully um let's see let's grab all the oil you've got 160 and what else would I possibly need? I think that's it. I mean, I could buy dip fish right off of them too, I guess. Um, eggs and stuff. Okay, so that's 160. So I should be able to give them a couple herbs. Like three, uh, four of them. I'll just, I know it's going to be too much, but that's all right. Oh, well, actually, that was 168. Okay, because I. Oh, right, because it's minus 16%. Uh, All right, well, that's cool. That's good enough for me. Except, you know, we got the better deal out of it. So let's see if I can now craft what I am looking for here. So this, and we need um, French fries. So we need a chef's kit. We need potatoes, which I don't have any potatoes on me, really. I know I have tons of potatoes. I guess I put them away. And seasoning. I know I have seasoning too. Alright, so we'll have to we'll have to stop off at my area then. But uh, alright, at least I got the oil, which was half the battle. What was it was just seasoning, right? Is all we needed. So I know this guy has seasoning, I think. Um Where does what does this take? This takes French fries, two French fries, two cooked fish, chef's kit, and seasoning. So I know the French fries take seasoning. Let me see if this guy has seasoning. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to buy the fish off him too so we can just cook that while we're at it. So I'll buy these. And I'll buy your seasoning. And what else? Um... The eggs. He's got potatoes too that are actually cheap. Mm. Well, I have tons of potatoes. I don't, I don't really want to necessarily buy them. Although I do have bl plenty of herbs that I could just. Yeah, you know what? Let's just buy them. Screw it. Screw it. Uh, what else did we need in here? I think that's. That is everything. At least that this guy has. So if I come over here again, and I say cooking, and I say french fries, I need three potatoes, which I just picked up two potatoes. Why? Is my inventory full? What, what's going on here? Potato and chest kits. Yeah, I just literally picked up two potatoes. Is it, is it not? I've been having a problem where my backpack my inventory is suddenly not showing. Like I built all kinds of fireworks and stuff and it, and none of them went into my inventory at all. So I don't know if there's just a, a bug in the game or something. I don't know. It's, I've tried clearing out my inventory as much as possible, but it still doesn't seem to help much. But uh, anyway, uh, let's, we have a few more places that we need to stop off before we come back there for the, the guild master quest I'll leave that I'll leave that to the end because that's gonna be the most annoying one to deal with all right here she is Ruby TikTok now well done you have mastered the arts of the tinker there you go guild master got the guild master badge and some black rimmed glasses mm-hmm and a lamppost some sunglasses Tinkers, breeches. Okay, so we're going to get a whole clothing set here. Goggles. 
Jackot. All right. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit, a little bit yawny here. Um, it's, it's, it's early morning too. Uh, let's see where my next stop off is going to be. I think it's this way, right? Yeah, there's a stone bridge up there, and then oh, that's right. I haven't done the carpentry guild master yet either. So that's another thing I still have to do. Um, that one's probably a little bit easier to do than the rest. Because uh, I, I have to build stuff for my farms anyway, so that should help matters. Where's the... Uh, oh, they're all up there. They're all up there. Alright, well, we'll have to navigate our way up there. Alright, here's this other bridge. Do we have enough? We have enough. There it is. Finally, can now traverse the landscape. Okay, and then that will bring us all the way around to where we want to go to complete these other ones. We've got one more stone bridge over there and the Brewer Guildmaster we can do. And then also, I believe we have to... Oh, I did turn in that other thing. Okay. I was just trying to remember if I turned in the, the beard quest. I did do that. Alright, we have arrived back at the brewmaster's area here. Let us turn this in. Well done, you have mastered the arts of the brewer. Brewer guildmaster. We got the guildmaster badge. Excellent. And some new recipes. Watch orange be one of them. Yep, it is. <laughs> I was trying to do something that required orange dye uh, before, and that wasn't working out so well as you might imagine, because it didn't have I didn't have the recipe for it, and I couldn't unlock it any other any other way. There was also another check mark over here uh, that I want to seek out. I don't remember what this was. Is this a... Oh, this is the stone bridge. Okay, and I had just enough... I had just enough uh, resources. Excellent. Excellent. Oof, I did... I did... <laughs> I did count them out correctly. Because that took hours. Oh, and I hear a... I hear a cat somewhere. I do not see a cat, but I hear a cat. Oh no, is there another one? There is another one, isn't there? Oh, it's a suspension bridge. Okay. Oh, good. I, I got the I got the resources for that. <laughs> it's like, oh no. After all that after all that stone working I did. Okay. That's good. Before we go there though, I do hear a cat. Very close by. Let's see if I can find this little bugger. Was he on this side that I heard him? Or was it on the other side? Oh, I hear him. Not these guys. Oh, here he is. Alright, right by right by the bridge. There we go. Now then. Crossed here and... Assume you're going to give me a chest or something. I don't know what that is. But, uh... Ooh. There's another cat. There we go. And... What is up here? Besides an outlook. Quite the outlook. It wasn't raining. Uh, is there no chest or anything up here? I think there would be. Something a little bit more than just the, 
than just the cat there. But I guess they ran out of ideas for chests. All right, and back we are to the castle and this uh, giant yarn ball. First of all, picked up a quest here to do something about this scruffy here who's chasing off animals. <gasps> well, thank you so much. That's real craftsmanship on this toy. Looks durable enough to last scruffily for a long, for quite some time. All right. He looks so happy with his toy. I hate to ask, but can you try soothing things over with our late with old lady Beckett? She wants nothing to do with me. Also, can you tell her Scruffly won't be a brother anymore? Yeah, so basically, she wanted me to give it her dog a toy to sew one up, to, uh, which is what the tink, uh, tailor thing is. And I can tell the old lady that everything's cool. So you've pacified that Mark Spawn flea bag, have you? That's all very good, but I won't bring back my 55 little angels, will it? Yes, you hired 55. I know, I know. I could have more, but I like to spoil the cats I have. There's a list of every cat missing. As you find my babies, bring them back. I'll be ever so thankful. Okay. Wow. Okay, so that's all the cats that I've been picking up. <laughs> 55 cats, and I've actually got almost all of them. Oof, jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. So, that's good. At least they have a... At least they have a... Thing now. I wonder if they actually put up quest markers to the, to the closest cats or if it's just like one big I guess I could look on the map here and see what it says or go to my compass oh that's not even pointing at the right thing okay never mind cat lady and 55 cats alright we'll find them as we go we shall find them and turn something into you. Well done, you have mastered the arts of the tailor. There you go, tailor guildmaster. Cool. Round satchel backpack now I have recipes for, floppy beanies, earmuffs, a few other things. I wonder after all these recipes get tallied off here. I wonder if there is... Um... I... I gotta go into my... Into my inventory here. Um... Let's go here. Yeah, there is. Okay, so I got the Chef's Guild novice badge. I got the Brewer's Guild Master Badge. Um, and Instructor's Guild Master Badge, Tinker's Guild Master Badge, and Taylor's Guild Bat Master Badge, there we go. Four badges, all prominently displayed that are all masteries, unfortunately I can't display all of them. Also something else here, I guess that's... Maybe, I uh, wonder if this beanie looks, oh, that's the same one, okay. Um, yeah, it must be like gloves or something, who knows? Anyway, all right, I have taken the ferry over to the other island here, and there's some merc to clear out, there's a quest to talk to a guy about. Also, there's lots and lots of areas to plant trees. Lots and lots, I say. Um, but let's go... There's also some Merc here. So let's clear this while we're at it. Uh, yep. And then we have some things uh, to break open. Go. That's that is a satisfying right there. Break in some things. Now I want to let's get our two chips on the wheel there. And all well, this is the same. 
Okay, now I believe that there's a quest up on one of these little mounds here, because I walked past it first time through here. Uh, and I've placed quite a few trees, not all of them by any stretch of the imagination, but it is easier to see where to plant them when you're when you're on sand here. At and what is this? A small note reads Radiant Sands Shrine needs three sunglasses. Okay. Three sunglasses? I have two. <laughs> I have two. One of them's in my in my chest though. Interesting. Okay. That's the first time something's required like three sunglasses and things. We got a little bit of murk on this area here. Oh, and this is this is the last uh, teleporting face, which is good. That'll give me access to all the stuff through the teleports if I do whatever this guy wants. Show me your commitments. The seeds planted now make the future grow stronger. Plant five trees. Ah, oh, you should have told me that earlier, man, because I've been planting trees left, right, and center here. I don't know if there's five more left that I can plant, but let's try. That's one. And now I'm out of stuff to plant. There's more stuff here, though. Two. I wonder if I chop this thing down, would it give me some? I don't think so. I need to find more... Five more seeds. There's plenty around there. There's also a chest way off in the corner here. I caught all the corner of my eye. Open it. Some purple shampoo, it looks like. Okay. So, yeah, let's get some more of the main quest done. Yeah, this whole area here looks like it's got a lot of trees I can plant. I just need to go and get the seeds for it. All right, we found our way back to the main road here. Let's go through the archway and see where this leads me to. Uh, oh, there's a there's a cat. Led me to a cat. And oh, <laughs> triggered a cutscene. I'm like, what's going on with the what's going on with the uh, the camera here? Greetings, Sprite Seer. Your path has led you to the Cloud Catcher. Once a towering achievement between people and Sprite Folk, it now holds open a wound across our worlds. This wound, which stands between you and the answers you seek, is the source of the Merc. Search the desert, young Sprite Seeker Seer. Find the old man whom time forgot. He shall be your guide, and light the path that must be tread. Farewell, Sprite Seer. You shall have far to go. Okay. Travel to the old kingdom.